What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. I am spray painting Mojo Dove because we are about to go see if we can't get some crows on the ground. They're everywhere. I can hear them right now. But we got our Fox Pro with our crow sounds and uh, we got a bunch of Mojo Doves. I don't have I had a few duck decoys that I painted black too, but uh, got a few Mojo Doves and uh, Spray painting them black so they look like crows. We're gonna go set up in a few different fields and uh, see if we can trick them into coming into a dove decoy. Oh yeah. Looks good enough. Got some white tips. Let's go hunting. About to head out, but uh, I was gonna show you all these traps my dad just ordered. They're supposedly live bobcat traps. Um, I don't know how well they work. So if y'all ever used one, leave it in the comments. He's got three of them, and uh, we've got a few more bobcats out here. He's gonna try to catch them live, so. See how it goes, and this buck right here, uh, you're probably wondering why his horn's cut off. He got locked up with another buck yesterday. The other buck died, and uh, or this buck died, the other buck lived. But my dad had to cut this horn off of him. They were locked up from fighting, so. We're gonna turn him into a European mount and uh, see what we got in the freezer. Big old pig. We got a buddy that's coming to pick that up later today. We're gonna see if we can uh, go get some crows down and uh, then we're gonna cook them. Do a catch, clean and cook on them, see what they taste like. I don't think I've ever eaten crow. So we're gonna load these decoys up, go sit in the field and uh, see if we can call some up. We need some water here in Texas. They hidden so we're gonna get in these trees right here and hopefully they come in shooting distance but we shall see they might not like the mojo decoy well Judd and Ryan are up first I'm gonna be filming this round but if they start missing I'll take the shotgun but Judd's gonna be shooting out of the blind we can already hear crows pretty close so you ready? I'm turning it on. <laughs> yeah. Can you see? Kinda. I can get a shot. I can't see very far, so if they start coming in, y'all tell me. Okay. Crow fight, dying crow, crows. No, I have no idea. So Joe's gonna shoot first. No, y'all are both gonna shoot. Oh, come on, guys. The one chance we get. Judd, you didn't have a shot? No, it was too high. Dang it. He was, he was so close. close. I didn't see him hardly. Huh? He was close? Yeah. He's right on top of us. Really? Yeah. 
We messed up the first spot, so we're gonna pick up the decoys, move to the next spot, hopefully call in a different group of crows that we didn't already scare off. But we got a few other places that we can go hunt, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, we're at our next spot. Get this thing cranked up. What do you think I should do? Just crow family again? Yeah, whatever worked last time. Well, they came into a uh, fighting crow. Yeah. Oh, I hear them already. Spot number three, wish us luck. Crow the hawk fight did the trick. There's three of them coming in hot. Yeah, they're coming in. Like real close. Good. That was cool. Alright, we gotta go play that one again somewhere else because that was cool. That's the closest they've been to like landing. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that mojo helped. Yeah. Sweet guys. Let's go check him out. He folded up. <clears throat> Land. Right there and straight. Oh. Talk about a headshot. That's a big old crow right there. Well, that's dinner. Let's uh, go set up again, see if we can't get some more. That's fun. Spot number four, we got one down. We're gonna see if we can't get a few more. This is freaking fun. Leave in the comments if y'all have ever crow hunted. If not, leave a thumbs up if you like this. <laughs> Come on. They came right in. Any bullets? Too far, right? No. You're just terrible. <laughs> hey, why are you laughing? You're terrible. Uh, too. I, I know. I'm over <laughs> six this whole entire weekend. For the crow hunt, we ended up with one, but if you're wondering why we were crow hunting, uh, it wasn't just completely for a video. They actually eat like a ton of our corn. So when our feeders go off, we have pictures, our trail cameras that are on our feeders. We'll have 30 or 40 crows at different times of the day, all throughout the day, and they just pick out all the corn that gets spit out for the deer and the pig. So um, that's one reason why we went crow hunting, but we'll definitely be doing it again. So leave it in the comments if y'all wanna see that again. We're headed to the shop right now to uh, clean this guy. I think we got another recipe like we did with the duck, but a little bit different. We're gonna do a whole crow on a beer can. So instead of a beer can chicken, we're gonna do a beer can crow and uh, see how this turns out. We're gonna do it on the green egg. My dad has a good recipe for beer can chickens on the green egg, so we're gonna use the same recipe for the crow and uh, see how she turns out. We're just getting the uh, egg fired up right now while we go clean the crow. What do you use to on your egg? Lump charcoal? Lump charcoal. That's it? That's it. We're gonna fire it up, take about an hour to get it up to temperature, and we'll stuff the crow on the beer can thing in a jigger and let it do its thing. What, how long or how hot do you cook the beer can chicken? Um, I mean we'll get it up there probably around three. three I imagine it'll only take about 45 minutes. Shouldn't take long at all. It'll take longer to get it heated up than it will to cook it. Cook it. 
Finally raining. But we had to improvise because we did not find a pot. So we got a nice dog bowl full of water. And our gas just went out. That's great. All right, so my Nana told me to do this. I've never done this, but supposedly if you put them in hot water, it makes them 100 times easier to pluck. So it's not completely boiling yet, but I'm just gonna dunk them, get these feathers all hot. Get them nice and wet. Well, I'd say that's pretty dang good right there. That is a clean crow right there. So I just got to gut him, cut the head off, I cut the feet off, and uh, I'm going to gut him real quick. I'll see you guys at the egg, and uh, we'll season this guy up and put him on the fire. That has this sitting chicken deal, because um, I don't think this will fit over a beer can. So we're going to take some beer, pour it in here, and you put the whole thing in there. Yeah. If it'll yeah. fit. I don't think it'll fit. Oh, she's coming out the sides. Then we'll take our crow. I don't even know if the crow will fit over this. So we'll put the crow on there. Let's see. Perfect. Oh, kind of. Just like that. And then we'll take some Critter Glitter Fish and Fowl. And uh, let's put some Texana Brands olive oil on them. Get that skin to crisp up. Just like that. Now we'll come in here with some Critter Glitter. All right, rub all that in. Now, now all there's left to do, we'll go put it on the grill, uh, probably 45 minutes or so. We'll watch it though as it cooks and uh, see you guys when it's done, see what it tastes like. Thermometer right here. Take it and turn it on, on, and we'll stick it in the breast, just like that. Now, we shut her and watch our heat. It's at 75 degrees, 76 right now, and internal temp needs to be what? Maybe 165. 165, so we're gonna keep watching this. Um, it's raining out here, I don't want the camera to be out here, so. We'll watch it and then uh, we'll film it whenever we pull it off and see what it looks like. Take our little probe. I took the other one out. I just want to show you all the internal temp. So we said 165, um, 66, 167. Uh, poked it. Put it around pretty much the whole bird and we're good. Good on temp. So I'm going to pull it off. I'm just going to take it by the wings and uh, set it down on the cutting board. So, let's take this guy inside, cut it up, and uh, give everybody a little taste test and uh, give it the old rating. Alright, we got everybody here for Christmas. So, we're going to see how many we can get to try this. I'm just going to cut the breast, cut into the breast. Man, that is tough. Well, I can already tell you that this is going to be some tough meat. Okay. I'll go first. Because I know nobody else wants to eat this crow. Here it goes. It's not good. It tastes just like duck. But more gamey. That's just a really gamey duck. So I'm gonna rate this out of birds that I've eaten. I'm gonna give it a two. 
because that is not very good at all. If I was starving in a survival situation, yes, I'd eat it every day, but I'll see how many people we can get to uh, give us their rating. Yeah, Judd, try. No, no. Judd, come on. No, once you said two, I'm out. Judd, just try it. No. Ryan. I'm always, no. After you said two. Try this little piece. Okay. This one? I don't care, pick a piece. Just try it. Tastes like that Nutri Rat, honestly. <laughs> one out of ten. Well, you said the Nutri Rat wasn't that bad. No, so. that was very tender, so I'd say about maybe a three. You're not even gonna swallow it. Look at <laughs> no, you. I'm not. That's at least like a three. <laughs> All right, Dad. I'll try it a little bit. Mm -mm. It looks, I mean, it looks good. It looks like a perfectly cooked bird, but it's just not the yeah, best. Make sure I got the knife right this time. Yeah. It's, it literally tastes like duck. That stinks. It, it tastes like, I mean, it smells like duck too. It tastes like liver to me. Yeah. One out of ten. One. One? One. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think y'all get the picture of how crow tastes. I'm sure you can fry it or make a popper out of it and make it taste a lot better. So hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and then we'll keep it.